Hey, I'm back, and today I want to talk about Empower Synth and a way to morph the oscillators. I know lots of people are wondering, like, hey, can you use this kind of like a wavetable synth and scan through different waves? And at first I thought it wasn't possible, but actually you can. So I thought, let me go over how to do this so maybe I can show some people something they don't know. So if we go in here and I have it on this, let me turn this off. You see here we have a rectangle shape, use a saw, have a filter on for some reason, there we go. But you're wondering like how can I morph through this besides just, I can do that but I can't really control which wave comes after another. But there is a way to do it. So first let's look here at the harmonics. We're going to set these to 64 because you can only copy 64 of the harmonics so it makes sense. Now what we want to do is go here to a multi-parameter. Let's open this up. Uh, you can see here, I can do this manually, but it's easier if I just go to this little tab here and click learn. And then I move each one of these up and down. I want to make sure I got all of them and they're all moving. And here, do the same thing. I know this is kind of annoying, but you want to make sure you get all of them, and then once you record it, I look in here and, wow, I got all the 64 harmonics, hopefully, and I have all the phases. So that's what you need. After that, I would go in here and save it. You can add it here, and this is one of the great things about Empower Synth. You can actually do this that way. Next time, it saves you the time, and you don't have to move all of these and mess with all that kind of uh, annoying stuff. After we have that, what we want to do is we want to go in here and choose whatever wave you want, let's say uh, saw. If I push this, it will transfer that into the harmonic, so it'll change it from this style, like wave synthesis, to an additive synthesis. You hear it's a little bit duller, so if you're looking for like a bass sound that needs a lot of high end, this may not be the best thing, but for normal use, it works really well. So, well. I shouldn't have hit randomize. Don't do that. <laughs> Let me go back here. Okay, got it back. Now what I want to do is go into the multi-parameter, click banks. Give it a second. My computer is going a little bit slow. But you see here it has four banks. Now what I want to do is click on this little save button. What that does is you see here it changes it so all the harmonics and phases are copied into bank one. Next, I'll choose uh, some type of different wave. Let's choose a square, for example. Do the same thing. Click this little arrow. Uh, it didn't work that time. There we go. Save it again. I'm sorry this is in the way, but it does actually save you time by doing it this way, so I don't have to go back and forth. Uh, let me actually... I'll close this. I should have those two saved. Yeah, that's a fine. Go to advanced. Let's load our own sample. So if you think, I don't like those samples, let me try something else. Uh, let's try this one. I don't know what this is. Move it here. Change this to harmonics. Open it up. Save it under bank three. And let's try one more. Load another sample. Mm, let's try native saw and click there okay. so now everything is loaded here let me attach this to a MIDI controller attach MIDI controller Ooh, there we go so now it's attached to my mod wheel you can see I can sweep through it so let's try it once Let's go into FX and look at the oscilloscope, or however you pronounce that, under utility. So now you should be able to see this, and it should show us moving through the waves. Wow. So there you go. I think that's pretty cool. There's all sorts of things you can do with this. If I wanted to make like a pad sound, you can make an evolving pad sound and do all sorts of things with it. But let me show you one other thing you can do with this, which you may not know. If you go into the generator here, 
you can go into load file and if I wanted to do something else like a longer file, like a wave file, let me see if I can find something here quickly. So if you remember from my Synthmaster video on Waveterm, I used a sample this, this Chandler guitar, it was just me saying my name. And so I can go into here, open it, and if you see here, it shows the waveform. If I push a button, it'll play a part of it. Okay. It doesn't sound good when you do that, but if you look down at the bottom in the background, you see as I scan through it, it will actually change the harmonics. So what you can do is you can take little slices here, so if I wanted to go in here, too many things on my screen, but I could choose that one, slice one, slice two, slice three, and like slice four. And now if I go back through there, And I, I know you're saying, like, that didn't really sound like your voice, but I only used four slices. You can do many more. So if I go into here, here's one I already did. So let's see if you can hear this. Chandler. 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 Here we go. Chandler. 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 It sounds a little bit bumpy because I only use 36 slices, I believe, 27 slices. But you can go up to 128 sli uh, different banks, so you can do lots of different slices with this if you want it to sound uh, smoother. So there's all sorts of things you can do with this, and you don't even have to morph it like this. You could actually move one of these individually or parts of them and leave parts of them the same. There's many, many things you can do with this, so... The world is your o oyster, basically, and you can even take this here and I could, for example, do like a Super Saw version, or I guess like a Super Chandler version of this. Let's see here, widening. Okay. You're probably tired of hearing my name, <laughs> but that's. I just wanted to show you things you can do with that. I don't know if this is the best use of your time, you know, chopping up all these slices manually, but you can definitely do it. And for things like pads or some evolving lead sound, it works really well. That's it for today. If you have any questions about how to do this or you want to know more, leave them down below. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done that already. Until next time, see you.